Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about uric acid levels in the body. Now high levels of uric acid is something which is being bothering people in India and across the globe, especially in males. Um, high level of uric acid, which is also called hyperuricemia in medical terms, um, is something that we need to uh, be concerned about if there are symptoms. So today in this video, I am going to talk about the symptoms, the manifestations, what can be done and what is actually uric acid. Is medicine the only possible treatment for uric acid? So before we begin the other details, let's understand what is uric acid. Now, uric acid is an end product of a substance called purine. So then what is purine? Purine is a substance that is found in food. When we consume purine through foods, the body breaks it down, the kidney rather breaks it down and excretes it via urine. In certain cases, kidney is not able to filter it or there is too much purine consumption through food. Now, in such cases, the uric acid level goes high, right? Um, so, uh, when the kidney is not able to filter it or there is too much of purine consumption, you could have three kinds of hyperuricemia. Number one is acute gout. Now, in acute gout, you could have one joint in your uh, body where there could be um, crystals, there could be pain, there could be inflammation. The next one is chronic to facious gout which means there could be recurring pain in one joint or multiple joint and there could be inflammation or crystals on the skin which is called tophi and number three there can be uric acid stones in the kidney so these are the three manifestations now what happens why is uh, this high. The one is of course we said that there could be purine uh, consumption which is on the higher side and number two the kidney is not able to filter out. Apart from that there are various other primary reason which could then lead to high level of uric acid which can be type 2 diabetes which could be high blood pressure which could be obesity which could be high cholesterol which could be hypothyroidism also certain medications. So for example, there are certain BP, high blood pressure medications that could cause high uric acid. Certain medicines that are consumed for tuberculosis which could cause high uric acid. Antibiotics which can cause high uh, uric acid and medicines for high cholesterol. So uh, if you're taking any medications, uh, you need to definitely consult your doctor if they are the reason which uh, of your high uric acid levels. Now, next on the list is, uh, you know, what are the lifestyle changes? Of course, there are two drugs which are uh, generally considered for high level of uric acid, but there are lifestyle changes that you can bring about to control your uric acid levels and get to the normal um, uh, limit of uric acid. Now, before I talk about what are the things that you should be consuming, I want to talk about things that you should not be consuming. In that list, alcohol is number one. You need to make sure that you're not consuming alcohol if you have high uric acid. You need to control uh, the consumption of seafood in your diet. You need to control the consumption of red meat in your diet. You need to control the consumption of refined flour and bakery products in your diet. Also artificial sweetener, artificial juices and you need to make sure that you are not eating too much of packaged food. So that's on not to uh, consume list. Along with that you need to make sure that you lose weight if you are overweight. You work on your uh, sugar levels and you work on reducing your blood pressure level. Now let's talk about what is it that you should be consuming. So another thing that before I forget is please don't believe in this myth that vegetable or plant based protein is going to increase your uric acid level. That's a myth. 
plant protein cannot uh, increase your uric acid level. So please do not avoid um, dals and low fat dairy product. They must be part of your um, of your diet because you do need protein even though you have high uric acid level because that has some everything to do with purine and not with protein. So please don't get confused. So uh, plant-based protein should definitely be a part of your diet. Eggs should be a part of your diet because they are a purine-free food. You can also have a uh, leanest cut of chicken in your diet. Along with that, citrus fruits are very good when you have high level of uric acid. So fruits like oranges, musambi, amla, kiwi fruits, they're extremely good. Cherries are very, very good for uric acid. So make sure that you have a good amount of cherries when in season. Um, also make sure that you uh, consume a lot of vitamin C in the form of um, lemon water or vitamin C supplements are okay as well. Um, another thing that you must consume is pineapple. Now pineapple has something called bromelain which is an enzyme which is very good for um, high level of uric acid. Um, also make sure that you drink three to four liters of water on daily basis which will help you reduce your uric acid level. Um, just to now conclude and tell you about the range of uric acid acid level. Um, for females, it should be less than 6 um, and for males, it should be less than 7. Uh, that is when you've had any symptoms, when you've had an attack of gout. However, if sometimes you may find incidental reading of high uric acid in your blood, which could be as high as 9, where you have any sort of joint pain and the doctor has asked you to get a blood test level done or you um, figure it out during one of your normal blood test level. If it's asymptomatic hyperuricemia as per latest recommendation, till 9 also is acceptable. But... Please remember if you've had any episode of gout, it is important to bring it down to a level of below 6 in females and below 7 in males. So follow all the diet tips that I shared with you um, and make sure that you're physically active. Within 3 months, your uric acid levels will come within the normal range. Hope this video has helped you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll talk again. Bye-bye.